Welcome, welcome replayers. So nice to see you. Welcome, come on in and hope you'll be cosy and be with us for a while. I'll read out chat so you don't feel you're missing out. And the other thing I'm going to do, I was talking in the comments and and I'm going to do, I picked names and I'm going to do a random, oh yeah, they're here in my notebook, random number. So people that are in the comments, whether they're replayers or just visiting again, commenting, I'm going to do a little, just a little happy mail for them every few weeks. So that's nice. <laughs> and that was from a comment from a lovely replayer. So especially a, a few in Australia as well. Oh, and there's Aunt Beck. So I'll read the chat out to you. Um, and here come the people that are live. <laughs> Good morning, Aunt Beck. So nice to see you. And Marilyn, really lovely to see you. Come on in. And Marilyn says, hugs and love to the replayers. Thank you, because we're a team, aren't we? We really are a team. I love it. And the gentle listeners in the background as well. What a team. Here's Sue. How are you and hubby, Sue? Are you healing? Are you getting any better? Ah, <laughs> nice to see you, Sue. Good afternoon. And there's Janice. Good morning, Janice. Oh, it's an early start, isn't it, for you? <laughs> Mrs. Gigi, good morning. Good, I mean, good afternoon to Mrs. Gigi. And Teresa. Oh, Teresa and Rick. Hi, Ricky. Are you off to the doctors this morning, Teresa? I've been keeping you in my heart. Mm. Aunt Beck's going off to make breakfast you can see what I'm doing Becky doing some more painted fabric <laughs> it's yes it's been quite a thing in the community hasn't it this week and there's Karen good morning Karen oh I mean good evening Karen how could isn't it wonderful this is a worldwide community I love it mm. I'm going to put my tea over there just in case I don't, uh, just in case I spill it. Oh, no, I'll have it on my mug rug. That's what a mug rug is for. Let's pop it over there. <laughs> Karen, I do hope you've had a lovely Monday. It's funny to think of that you've already had your Monday. <laughs> and there's Stacey. Oh, Stacey's saying good morning. There's Freddie. He's been for a long walk and he's tired because he had his little girlfriend, Molly, staying with them. <laughs> You're cleaning up your messy art studio. Well, I don't know where this morning's gone. We went out for our walk, Stacey, came back. And of course, I tidy the desk up because I... I need to get to things. I need to, um, but, but then I started to tidy up underneath the desk. You do want to see underneath the desk. It's tidy. Cat, there's cat. Who caught cat live yesterday? It was afternoon for me, morning in the States. Oh, I've caught up on the replay. That took me by surprise. I was charging my phone and I was just sitting quietly crocheting and then when I came back I saw a notification ah oh, <laughs> lovely lovely replay though <laughs> Joyce good morning so nice to see you oh and there's Janet USA good morning Janet USA <laughs> Janice is back <laughs> and Carol good morning Carol Oh, good morning. And here, we're welcoming someone new into the chat. Barbara Every. Barbara Every's come over from Cat's channel, haven't you, Barbara? And Barbara's over here in the UK, so good afternoon. Um, Barbara, I do hope you've got a nice cup of tea. <laughs> and welcome to the live. <laughs> And some you've just got to see how it goes because sometimes then life gets in the way. I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh, cat. Absolutely. Oh, you just get over one technical issue and then another one comes. 
Um, lovely Kathy Cal, she'll be in chat later. Um, she's going to start streaming and she said, um, oh, she bought a camera stand from Amazon. And my camera, you know, my camera's set up a bit wobbly. And I, I literally, I'm so used to using what I have. I hadn't even thought of purchasing a camera stand. So I might not be as technically challenged <laughs> if I get one of those. <laughs> Barbara. Barbara's saying hi to all the crew. But I'm Penny Angelic, I'm not sure that you can quite see her. There she is in the flowers. Colin's gone back to sleep again. He's very old and ancient. <laughs> oh, made from trees from the Black Forest. There's Marty. Good morning, Marty. Marty's coming in with lovely snacks. <laughs> mm. Oh, Nashua. Good morning. Oh, healing love and vibes to you, lovely Nashua. Oh, I'm so glad you can join us. <laughs> ah, there's Jennifer. Talking about going live, it wasn't just Kat yesterday that went live for the first time in a long time. I believe it was Jennifer's first time of going live yesterday, wasn't it? I, I, I caught that one. Sometimes you just notice the notifications on your phone. And I had a lovely time. Thank you, Jennifer, for showing us all your fabulous, fabulous journeys. Cat's eating her breakfast. Oh, oatmeal, loaded oatmeal like like Becky. <laughs> oh, oh, and there's Pam, and hi to little Misty too. <laughs> Good evening, Pam, all the way over there in Western Australia. Now I was talking to somebody. In comments. I love that. I love chatting to people in the comments or on emails. Or, and oh, look, I've got a nice pink inky finger. There we are. Just going to put that on there. <laughs> Just like that. Oh, dear. Oh, Barbara says great stream as well. There's Kathy. Kathy's getting her new camera. And there's lovely Beth. Beth? is such an encourager. Uh, I wouldn't be streaming if it wasn't for Beth. With my technical issues, saying to Beth on the phone, and she was always saying, you're just one click away. Just couldn't get the sound, could we? Couldn't get the sound. Don't ask me what I'm doing. I'm, I'm just, I'm chatting, really. <laughs> There's little pickles. It's Deb, isn't it? Nice to see you. Really loaded with cranberries and walnuts. How gorgeous. So listen out tomorrow for lovely Beth. She she encourages people. And at the moment, she's having people on her channel and streaming with her. That's what happened with Jennifer was on with Beth on the Saturday evening. And by the Sunday afternoon, Jennifer, you, you've got your confidence up, hadn't you? Oh, there's Becky Waters. Good morning, Becky. Oh, when I think of Becky, I think of a, a busy mum, busy mum. But they're all on holidays now. So I wonder, because they're teenagers, well, quite a few of them are asleep. Oh, was that on the, I seem to remember but Beth played the tune. It's raining men. It's raining men. Hallelujah. <laughs> oh. And Rebecca. Oh yes, Pam. You if you um subscribed to Beth too and you saw Rebecca. That's right, Rebecca. I'll link all these channels below. Just give me half an hour after the stream and I will get onto that. Now, if I'm missing anybody. All you lovely people in chat, um, if you notice I'm missing out on talking to someone, if you could remind me, 
<laughs> There's lovely Julia. Good morning, Julia. Oh, Gail, Gail and Obi. Oh, <laughs> um, Janet wants coffee, Janet B. Now, I'm using my jelly plate, but I, I, I'm not doing anything amazing <laughs> um, with the jelly plate. I'm having fun. <laughs> I got some, I, I was just putting down inks. I'm just using what I have. I have these ones. So, oh. I can rehydrate the ink pads. I got the pink and the blue. And then Laura sent me this one, which is a yellowy sunshine color. Isn't that lovely? Let me tell you what I'm doing. <laughs> Janet's saying hello to everyone. Marty, I'm missing that. Oh, let me go back. Oh, let me go back. What am I missing about Marty? back oh this thursday oh okay i'm gonna write that down now i won't write down the links because i i will remember the links to link people marty this thursday mm. cataract yes i i'm a prolific note maker during the streams and then these notes live with me all week <laughs> oh read board Oh, thank you, Barbara. Oh, yes. Don't believe what she's saying. Oh, yeah. I mean, oh, Barbara, I'm not I'm not putting myself down. No, thank you. <laughs> I'm more using it as a palette. I do that quite a lot. Let me show you what I was doing. Now, Aunt Bex last week did a pick 10 and we made a background. And we're going to on Aunt Becky's channel, which I'll link, we're going to make a bag out of this. So we've got some things sewn on and we used prompts. And I've used, it's lovely and soft because I've used fabric paint, which means you can get the needle through it. It, it and, uh, and inks. So I'll pop that up there. But meantime, while Becky was doing that, I was chatting to someone in the comments. I find people here in the comments and their videos and lives, I find so much, um, so much, I've seen someone news come in, um, let me just, let me just, what was I saying, I've interrupted myself, anyway, um, oh yes, I was chatting to someone, and they watched my toucan collage, um, video and they commented on it very kindly. There's Morgan Plans. Hi everyone, thank you so much for the warm welcome. Well, thank you, lovely chat, for welcoming um, Morgan in because I wasn't. There was me rambling on. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Always a warm welcome here. Margaret in London. Good afternoon. Did I say good afternoon to you? Mm. I'm not sure. <laughs> oh, there's Becky. I was just saying you did your fabric prompts. And meanwhile, back at the ranch, at the same time, I was having this discussion with someone in comments. And they, this was very early on in my channel. Janice, you'll remember this. I don't know why my thing that I have about toucans, I, this is the one I did in lockdown. This was a challenge from a local art gallery we had to do it online because it was just a community art gallery it was covid but this is all tiny made out of tiny magazine pieces and i have i was talking to this uh maria in comments and i i i thought anything you can do in paper you can also do in fabric so i'm going to i've got a very large piece of old sheet here don't worry, I haven't taken it from any of anybody's bed. And I'm going to create, I might use paper and fabric, mix, mix media. There's lovely Cheryl and Dar. Good morning, Dar. So nice to see you. And Janet B. Janet B. Shall I call you Janet Canada? So we've got Janet USA, Janet UK, and Janet Canada. <laughs> oh. 
art quilting where they use tiny pieces of fabric. Yes, I, I'm going to do my more as a collage. It's not going to be on a quilt. It's it's just going, do you know, I'm starting it and I have no idea of where it's going to go. But the first stage of this toucan is glorious. It's just on a piece of cardboard. And it's the size of my fireplace because it sits in my fireplace where there's a gaping hole. <laughs> oh, thank you very much. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, there's always extra room, isn't there, Marty? Yes, yes. We can scooch up on the sofa so we can all <laughs> so we can all get in. Janie B is shorter. Oh, people call you Janie, Janie B. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Mm. Thanks, Jenna. So the glorious thing is you can, you've, you've got a fabric or a big piece of card you want to do this. It's just all little bits and pieces of scraps of paper in the back. And this one's knocked back with a little bit of paint. I also, I've got an art stand here, but you can't see it, unfortunately. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, I need two cameras. <laughs> I need three. <laughs> and then, if you remember, I did this one very early in our streaming. And this one, you can see the lovely background and it's knocked back with gesso, this one. The, the Making the background is such a joy. I haven't finished this one yet. But he's up there and I put little bits of magazines and I can always, like a jigsaw, add pieces as I go. You can't see it there, but this is tight in here. Are all good? Good evening, Christina. You're up late. Oh, I do hope you're OK. <laughs> oh, if I'm missing chat, let me know. Um, you'll help me, won't you? everybody in chat <laughs> oh so it's got all positive comments from the people in chat so you help me to create this what can i i've covered them up it's more of a feeling so they're not all in full sentences it's more to get the vibe today is a great day to be amazing but some of them show up it's not all rainbows. Hmm. Kind and positive. Today is a good day for a good day. Etc. <laughs> Etc. Et oh, Jean. Good morning, Jean. Off to get your coffee in your mug of the day. Yes, Morgan. Grab a coffee. Yes, we like we like to just get together with a with a nice beverage, don't we? And chat. So I thought, let's, I'm going over the next few weeks, I'm going to just build this up. So today with you, there's Kimberly. Good morning, Kimberly. Mm. So very nice to see Kimberly and Beef. Are you planning lots of gardening? <laughs> so while you're here i'm going to build up the background now there's no right or wrong just do whatever you can make yours a small fabric collage you don't i'm going big i don't know why just yeah i just want to <laughs> oh. Now I'm I'm missing someone called Jody. I can see Kat talking to Jody. If I'm missing you, I do apologise. I was just away from my computer there, just for a little bit while I showed you that. And I'm just rolling off on here too, because remember this is just the background. It's not really going to show. <laughs> yes, the most beautiful day. So happy to be here. Oh, that's so lovely. Thank you. I'm happy to be here too. <laughs> I really am. Let's get some of this packaging. If you notice, I had one drop of paint to two drops of fabric medium, and that just makes everything a little bit. I don't know how this is going to work, so I'm just going to 
And I've just, while you're here, I can't do everything because I've only got a small desk. You're going to get the essence of what I'm doing. I, I was using those polystyrene food packaging there. <laughs> You're just a little ahead of us. Christina, are you okay? Um, I know it's late for you. It's very nice to see you. I love visiting Christina at the shack. But Christina is a very magical and whimsical artist. <laughs> Christina Shack. I will leave a link um, below. Now, if I missed you um, when I was just rambling on about the collage, come back to me and give me another chance to have a chat. <laughs> mm. oh. oh, her name was Penny. I'm just literally just going to, I'm creating a background. So I'm going to be coming in with, I think I'll probably keep it this length. I can fold it up like that because it's not, it doesn't matter what marks get on this because it's going to be a glorious background. So let me share with you what gave me the idea of doing this. Trudy, can you light a candle for Trudy? Yes, yes, we can, definitely. Is Trudy here in the background, um, Julia? Yes, Trudy has been having a rough time. Do you know, you are so right. That's one of the main reasons we're here, just to get together to oh, help each other through, aren't we? Mm. Let's let's just have a, um, can you see automatically when you said that, I'm putting my back into the chair and oh, he is a good boy, isn't he, little Freddy? Sandra, good morning, so nice to see you. Hmm. She might be on the replay, definitely, definitely. It doesn't matter if she's not here or on the replay. I don't mean to say we can't think of Trudy, you know. But an important member of our community. You, you're so right. So I've put my feet flat on the floor and I've put my back in the cushion. I'm slowing myself down now. There's Maria. Maria Night Night. Oh, so nice to see you. Yes, it, it was Maria from Australia that I was talking to. And, and I said, I think I'm going to do a large fabric collage. <laughs> mm. um, this one, so Freddie can see out of the window. Yes, yes, I've got the, the windows just there, Cheryl. <laughs> so there's Brenda. Good morning, Brenda. You've come just in time. We have just, Janet's trying to light a little candle. I'm being very mindful when the candle's here, don't worry. I'm not going to dash around and do art, but this is just, we're thinking about Trudy and we, we're thinking about Marty, who's going in for our operation, and, and Dixie as well, and you know, oh there's Dixie, there are other people that just, let's take a breath and a little moment of silence where we can think of people in, in and outside of our community. Thank you, Julia. You were right. Just to slow us down, slow us right down. Thank you. Hi there, Soshi. <laughs> there we are. I'm going to do that. Thank you very much. That really, yes, that's the most important thing, isn't it? Mm. Thank you, Marty. And there's Peter. Oh. Welcome back, Josie. Josie, nice to see you again. And there's Peter from Australia. Good evening to you, Peter. 
good evening. What made me think I would like to do this is I, let me see this beautiful dish made out of, it's a wood turning carol. It says it's purple something or other. Your friend, um, the wood turner might know. I've got all these glorious, glorious, ooh. Let me see if I can pull them out like magic. Probably not. <laughs> Let me do that because it's fun. Here we are. I've got all these wonderful scraps that are sewn together. And I thought, wouldn't they make wonderful wings for a toucan? So, because, I tell you where those scraps come from. When I am making from Brenda at Mount Scrapmore, when I'm making the paper piecing, I'm just doing them long now, out with scraps, what you do, you cut them, cut the edges like this. And I just thought, and they're joined together. And I just thought, oh, I thought, oh, these are amazing. They are going to make amazing feathers. I love it when they're joined up because you've got the texture of the sewing machine in there as well. Some of this might be done on the sewing machine, this collage. It might be made of paper. Oh, look, this is a really satisfying, it's like peeling an orange. <laughs> when you're trying to get the skin all whole. <laughs> oh, thank you. Very nice to, to meet you, Shoshi. Very nice to meet you. And there we are. I'm glad that you can be here. And you'll probably get to know some other people with some other lovely channels here too. <laughs> if you would like to put links in for your channels or other people's channels, do. And then, because it's nice, because some of us may not know one another. I put channel links in the description box, but yes. <laughs> oh, yes, it's for another. So those are the scrap bits that are going to be the wings. Just for if you've just come in, Peter, this is my oh upside down. That is my paper pieced toucan. And I'm going to make one out of fabric. Um, I don't know. I'm just making the background today. I'm not quite sure how that's going to look because I I don't have any I don't have any plans yet. I, you can use, I can use water soluble inks or stays on ink and paint because it's not going to be washed. Um, Little Pickles is, I've been to your channel, haven't I? You, you, um, yes, yes. I think I came last Monday, actually, when you streamed. I, you do colouring, don't you? You do it beautifully, actually. Beautifully. Colouring helps you to relax. And you've got um, a cat, I do, I, I think. <laughs> Am I right? Mm. Marty's got chai on the... That's some chai tea is Jennifer's favourite, she told us yesterday. So it's just a case of just making some marks, just having fun. No right or wrong, as Beth would say. No right or wrong, just making some, did I say, oh, I got blue. I'm just gonna top this ink pad up and see if that helps. There we are. It's probably a bit juicy for now. Let's see. Oh, lovely. Because this is all just gonna get knocked back and with leaves and jungly bits and, this is just wonderful. Just a, just to play. No rules. Irene, hi. Nice to see you. Nice to see you, Irene. Oh, if I'm missing people as they come in. And 
I, you know, I love to sit and chat to you. And then the thing with doing something like this, it's easy to get a little bit lost in it as well. I found myself just, yes, Irene, so nice to see you. Really nice to see you. No, oh, I've got a cup of tea here. Just having a sip. Mm. Janice would like sausage and eggs. <laughs> oh, Scott's on holiday this week. So that's really lovely, isn't it? What else can we, we can um, do some print. Let me show you what else I've been doing this week. Oh, oh I know. I've been making some of these black dots because I put some on this painted fabric from Becky's challenge it said was it use black and I, that was quite a challenge because I don't even use black I use my black Hoskers don't I cheers cat <laughs> I have these lovely this was from Laurie Paint Girlie and it was a whole sheet of printed out aren't they spectacular and I I use them on my Happy Mail envelopes. This is my way of art journaling is on envelopes. And I feel they just look so effective. And do you ever have something and you think, oh, I don't want to use it all up because then it will all be gone. So um, I thought, oh, I'm going to have a go at making my own. So I did have a little go. Some of them are a bit and then I, what I did is I got my white pen onto the black. So these ones haven't had any white added to them. And these ones have had a little bit of white pen added to them. It's very simple. I'm sure I'm, I'm not doing anything new. I'm, I'm seriously. It's just a little reminder. Ooh, you could do that up. You could do it again. <laughs> Oh, Marty, yes, your eyes, definitely. And I'm missing things in chat too. I do, oh, thank you. Thank you for putting the link in for Becky's. Mm. Rosemary tea leaves the other day. Wow, I have a rosemary, a huge rosemary bush outside. Oh, you can photocopy that for me. Oh, thank you. I never thought of that. I never thought of it. The thing is, I quite like it. This is on deli paper. I'm using tissue paper because, as Kat was saying in her live, if you use the tissue paper, it knocks right back and you can't really see it. Thank you, Julia. I would, I'm more than happy now to um, make my own. Oh, sorry, Fly. Did I get that on your sock? Sorry, Fly. Oh dear, don't want to get it on your new dress, Flo. Oh, I didn't add any fabric medium to that. So, do I want black in the background of that? No, probably not. So let's just roll that, let's just roll that off. We're not gonna waste any, because this can all just be um, torn up and used for collage. Pop that there. Let me show you what I used, uh, if I can find it. Oh, here it is. I just used the top of my, it's not rocket science. <laughs> oh, rice paper. You have right, yes, rice paper. Um, I did have some things printed on rice paper from the lorry too. This one is deli paper, um, tissue paper that I'm using here. But I love it because, oh, each one comes out differently. And that, I mean, I'm sure it's something you've done before. But see, this one that's filled in will be nice because one could do dots and stripes. And there's a satisfaction out of using things that you've made yourself, I think. So I'm just going to do a sheet of those. and. I can come back later in the week and do some little white doodlings on there. Lovely. Just 
put that on there. Lovely. I'll put those away. Because I'm going to put some, I think while I've got this here, I will put some, just some fabric paint on here. A sheet of Freddy Paws. <laughs> Shall we put some Freddy Paws? Let's put some Freddy Paws on here. This was his actual paw. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, Morgan is currently tea dyeing papers and some fabric. Oh, wonderful. Oh, such a lovely colour. I'm just putting this fabric medium on here. You can get all different makes. Or you can get fabric paints. They've already got it. It just softens the paint because if you don't, um, it, it's a bit hard and you can't get the needle through. Because I think the next stage of this background may be, sorry, Flo, your, your legs are a little bit in the way, Flo. I'm just saying. Flo, I'm busy painting. I can't show people your new dress yet. She's got a new dress and she's very proud of it. <laughs> Oh, Julia had a great idea and I missed it. Oh, Julia, did I? Ah, oh. and it's taking forever to dry. It's winter for you. <laughs> oh, oh, what did you say, Julia? Um, there's Rebecca. Good morning. Hmm. Ah, oh. it's to go light with with the paint yes if you use fabric paint it it's um it's it comes out nice and soft though and the needle can get through or you can use your inks so let's put some freddy paws on here shall we let's see if that works so there's going to be freddy paws in the background of my jungle oh that's come out nicely <laughs> Yes, it was on tissue. I, it was tissue paper. I was using my roll-offs. Yes, and then I can. It'll make just make nice backgrounds. I can doodle on it with white. Mm. And that's what Cat was doing yesterday. Um, making things with white, white pen. You were making leaves with green painty paper. There we are. I missed your good idea. Oh, yes. Aren't you stuck buttons? Oh, on your old. Yes, I've been saving them. I knew someone had done that. That was you, Julia. Yes, I agree. Such a good idea. Julia with all the good ideas there. <laughs> so I'm just doing some circles here just because I can. <laughs> Doesn't because this is the background. And, in, and because I have no preconception or worry of what it's going to look like, I will get to the stage where I will draw a toucan. And you'll notice that it's very um, artistic license. It doesn't, it's just the essence of a toucan. You don't have to be a brilliant, brilliant at drawing. It's just, just the essence of a toucan, really. <laughs> Put a big beak on a bird. You glued um, buttons to cork for a cool stamp. Oh, yes, and Teresa um, put them on a plate, didn't a paper plate the other day, um, and made a, a large button printing block. <laughs> yes, Fred is part of this, because that is his... That is his actual footprint. I think that was when I we that was when Jughead, Rebecca's dog, and Freddie exchanged happy mail. <laughs> Barbara, cat, does this mean you need to drink more wine to get the corks? Barbara says. <laughs> oh, Barbara, you are funny. Barbara doesn't anymore, but used to live quite near me and we were talking about one of the shops we used to go to weren't we <laughs> Barbara and the, oh oh oopsie tissue paper oh there we are 
I, I'm not sure whether one's it's the best sort of paper to use for this. Oh, right, okay. Oh, you use tissue paper for, I know PM Artist Studio call it when they register. This, it's all new to me. It's, it's a little delicate, but won't it be lovely when it does come off? Yes. <laughs> oh, and I've got a little black jelly print on tissue paper of Freddie's paws. And I can put book pages underneath there. I love it when the book pages show through. And that can go on somebody's envelope. <laughs> oh, that's lovely. That was fun. <laughs> that was fun. So, yes, I'm going to be adding paint and lots of bits and pieces to this. There's even more on there, but I will save that for later. There we are. Look at all these things I was going to do. Ah, just before I go, when you've got things so you can, when you've got your jelly plate going and you, this is just another idea, just to make any ribbon or old sheet or this one's from a parcel and make some make some fabric ribbon and I could even sew the fabric ribbon. Mm, lovely. Oh I love the pink and the orange together. Wow. I think it'll have to be big because Two cans of go big or go home, aren't they really? Because their beaks are so big. <laughs> There's Anne. Good morning, Anne. And Cal, good morning. So nice to see you here in, in, in the live. Oh, a lot of the time I see you in, in we chat in the comments. So nice to see you, Cal. Welcome, welcome. Come right in. Oh, the, the wine is screwed up. Sometimes, sometimes you have one that's not. Oh, look at that. But rarely these days, I know. Oh, lovely. Let's put, oh gosh. See, it makes a lovely homemade ribbon. Oh, that's lovely. Now, let's put some black. I think I was thinking then. <laughs> Uh, oh, oh, Sandra, yes, me too. I'm, I'm here, dotting paint. Just hoping I haven't missed anybody. I really am. Mm. So nice to see you, Cal. <laughs> um, the this toucan. Oh, the new toucan. We will have to think of a name for the new toucan, won't we? Definitely, Julia. Um. What's the new toucan's name going to be? <laughs> oh, thank you, Cal. They, these are lovely for our slow stitch scrolls. Or let's just put some. Oh, do you know? It's it's a turquoise, but it comes out like a peacock blue. Let's put. Oh, absolutely gorgeous. Love it, I love it because this is just like a hot mess. It's wonderful. Right, let's put some of this on that lovely Alicia gave me. Is that going to come? Oh, yes. Oh. So some of it, so you can do both at the same time. Two for the price of one. But Freddie perked up on homemade ribbon. He was just hoping it would be homemade biscuit. <laughs> That's so funny. You love the humming thinking moments. <laughs> it's, it's amazing feeling to be playing like this and chatting. And yes, yeah. <laughs> oh. Keeping myself from um, when the shape goes on the roller, let's see. 
Oh yes, I've got some of that. Lovely, lovely. Yes, of course, I would like, I need, I, it's lovely to get in the zone, but I want to be in the zone with you <laughs> and chatting with you at the same time. Ah, oh, lovely. It's slightly grungy. And I think it would be quite nice to have some along the edge. I'm just thinking a bit like that. And I can go along and do that when you're not. Oh, yes, that just sets it off and frames it off. I'm not quite sure whether you're seeing that. I shall throw that down there. And I will, gorgeous hands there. I will be able to finish that later. So, I'm going to pack all these away. Ooh, look. Be ring. Make yourself a coffee ring. All you need is a little bit of food packaging. And you can make a print from um, your own... From your own coffee or tea ring. <laughs> Use a rubber stamp. Oh, yes. Make it double sided ribbon. Yes. Or use as well as doing the honeycomb. Oh, Beth, wouldn't that be lovely? I've got the honeycomb. Wouldn't that be lovely with the bee stamp on there? Wouldn't that be lovely? Oh, let me just go and get the bee stamp if I can find it. Talk amongst yourselves. Um, let me see if I can find the bee. That's a bird. Can I find the birds and the bees? I found a bee, found a bee. Oh, oh good idea. Up there for thinking, down there for dancing. <laughs> Let's try and get a bird. He's all juicy. That's it. Of course, it would be lovely because it was Beth's idea and it's a bee. Oh, does it show up well enough? Oh, yes, it's showing up there. Great idea. You have to give it a good press, but it does show up. That is cute. Thank you. Thumbprints too. You could make thumbprint bees. Oh, yes. Now we're cooking on gas. <laughs> Tie a double-sided ribbon round the old oak tree. <laughs> and now we've got the songs. All we need is our mug of the day and Jean's world will be complete. <laughs> oh, dear. I'm loving that. So endless playtimes with just scraps of scraps of ribbon. I'm loading the desk behind me with all the stuff from here. Oh dear. Let's just put a coffee ring on just because we can, just to remind us that it's nearly snack time. <laughs> You've been wanting to sing Come On Irene. Oh, <laughs> I love that song. That reminds me of my lovely job I had just before my head injury. I did love my job. And we were, we were, I worked in activities in a day centre and it was lovely. We used to reminisce and sing. Lots of singing, always singing, baking, gardening. Oh, it's wonderful, wonderful. And we used to have a lady called Irene, and probably all through her life, and when she'd been to weddings, and that we, if we put, she was having a bad day, but if we put on, come on, Irene, do 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 do, she would cheer up. It's like, when you say someone, it's all about you. Come on, Irene. Oh, it's lovely. <laughs> there we are. Just look how effective that is. It's, I am not a stencil cutter. 
by any means, but um, a coffee stained or tea ring is a really nice and easy stencil to make if you haven't had a go at cutting your own. Just with a little bit of plastic from the food packaging. It's a, oh, it's so sweet. I used to love it. I used to love it. We did baking. And, and one of the ladies, well, it, no, it was a lady, and she'd been science teacher, and she was quite, um, some, she didn't know what was happening quite a lot of the time, but it was sort of almost like what you call muscle memory. I, I did seedlings, and she, you, you when you take the seedlings out, it's called bricking them out, and and you put them. She she just handled it so gently. And one time I was cooking Christmas cake because baking s smells so lovely, and cooking Christmas cake with a man, and he didn't have any language, and but but he. If people had baked in the past, they, he knew what to do and he was stirring. And then he said, he said some words. I could not believe it. And he said, I used to do this. And then no other speech. Amazing. Amazing. But Barbara, you, I mean, music was just, people, people could remember the words of songs. It was amazing. Hmm. I, you, I use the stencils that they sell for putting the pic, picture on top of coffee. Oh, yes, what, the cappuccino shakers. What a good idea. I got some of those that Ben left behind hanging up on the, the um, mug rack thingy. Good idea, Julia. All the ideas here. Hmm. I love that song too, Marty. <laughs> oh, Marty was a nurse. When you started in nursing and you worked at a nursing home for the elderly, your favourite people, such storytellers. Oh, yes, yes. Um, we are near Kent, so quite a lot of them used to tell us stories about when they were young and they didn't have holidays or vacations, but they used to go and pick hops. Kent's famous for its hops. They still grow some. You use hops for making beer. Was there some left on there? That will reactivate later, but let's just, may as well, just put it on here. Why not? Mm. You worked with children and sang the instructions to them. Oh, yes, Janet. They, oh, yes. It's so, they're so precious, aren't they? Yes, singing is so important. Pam, good morning, Pam. Nice to see you. Oh, look, and if you want to have the full song of Come On Eileen, do, 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 do. Janice has put the link in. Oh, have it playing in the background. I wish I could. Mm. Ben's going to lose his coffee stencils if he's left it here. Rug rack thing. Yeah, rug rack thingy. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean. You know what I mean. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, that was fun. Mm. Oh, Kat used to work with children too. Oh, it's lovely. Hot picking. That's it. You know, you know, Barbara. Definitely. And so... I I got books and photographs and we talk about it. And the other thing to hit all the senses, what I did was I sent off for some hops and it's a very pungent smell. And, and that, that brought back memories as well. Wonderful. <laughs> well, I enjoyed that. <laughs> Oh, you in special ed, education, um, Marilyn. Yes, yeah, music is just so important. <laughs> oh. Pam, 
Pam is one of Aunt Beck's friends. I will leave a link in the description below. Um, someone else might be able to um, pop a link in. Pam, I've been watching your videos, one of your videos. Absolutely love your dungaree collection. All sewn by you. Love it. <laughs> so nip over to um, Pam's channel to find out what the hell dungarees are like. <laughs> I love them. Quite an extensive collection. Barbara, you work with children with complex care needs and autism. Barbara, right. Yes, I, I, I suppose it seems a while back now. We're in, some of us are in different lives now. Yes. But we take those experiences with us, don't we? Mm. Oh, Candy, there's Candy. Oh, your teaching is done for the semester now. Candy is an art teacher and she, you love your job. And now you deserve a, a, a well-earned rest. I don't know whether you're doing any summer school with the children. Um, mm. I missed what Barb, um, oh no, I didn't, that's, we've got two Barbaras, we've got Barbara Chicken Pot and Barbara UK, we've got a, we've got a Barbara UK now, not satisfied with a Janet, um, a Janet USA and a Janet UK, we've got a Barbara UK now, <laughs> oh, good morning, Melissa, yes, prompts very soon, Melissa, yes, I, I, we, let's have a snack. Let's have a snack together, shall we? So I could take my apron off now. Um, I was doing Becky's prompts and I didn't put this. See, there's nothing on this apron. Isn't that, what do they call that? I mean, seriously, I was doing this the other day and I had other sort of short summer trousers on and big blob of orange ink. And then I put the apron on and then nothing on the apron. That is life. <laughs> that is life, isn't it? Right, let's get a nice snack, shall we, Freddie? Is Freddie reacting when I say that word? I don't know. There we are. I've got your snack. Snack time, Freddie? He doesn't know whether he can be bothered. Becky was painting on denim. And you are, oh, what you're creating is wonderful in embroidery. And I was looking at these trousers, they're just from a charity shop. And I thought, you know, they might look quite nice with some fabric paint on and embroidery. That's for another time. I shall content myself. Candy, I'm making another toucan collage. I shall content myself with making my toucan collage, I think. <laughs> I'm going to pour my tea out. Nice cup of hot tea. And I've got a very lonely blueberry muffin. All the frosting was gone this morning when I went to the fridge. It's just the blueberry frostingy bit that's that's left, unfortunately. <laughs> oh dear. Nice to see you, Melissa. <laughs> Jean, my have you you've seen this one, haven't you, Jean? Mug of the day. This is my Queen's Platinum Jubilee mug. <laughs> hmm. I know, he's too comfortable, Janice. Are you on a public holiday today, Janice? Because um, I haven't heard you say going to work, and then I vaguely remember. Look at the look at the trolley. It's like it's like the trolley on Harry Potter, and Marty's the lady who says, anything from the trolley, dear? There's blueberries. So there was no frosting left. So I've just had to put the blueberry jam and the blueberries on. I think Sam had got to the cakes before me. There were 12 and there was one left this morning. I did have some. But I thought, thank you, Jean. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, Robin has said yes to a studio tour. That's your, um, oh, there's not very much boiling water there. That's a very meagre cup of tea. Never mind, it smells delicious. And I can just top it up with boiling water um, when we've finished. <laughs> oh, Aunt Beck's sister is a potter and she fires the pots underground as well. Hmm. You made a chop. You you made a chocolate jubilee cake with rich tea biscuits and caster sugar and dark chocolate with ganache on top for the Queen's platinum jubilee recipe from Nicholas Fairford. How lovely! That sounds delicious. Hmm. That sounds really nice. Hmm. I know. That's not good, is it? <laughs> At least it's warm. <laughs> It'll wet my whistle. That's all that, you know, that's all that we can hope for. Mm. Yeah, we look forward to that. Mm. Yes, Cheryl, tea time <laughs> or coffee time. It is, Dixie, a Port Merion plate. If you haven't been to Port Merion, look it up. It's in Wales. I have been there and it's um. I think a very eccentric Englishman. It's yes, it designed this whole village. <laughs> I think it's it's all colourful. Is it sort of quite Italian-y style? But anyway, one of the Port Merion ladies did was a potter as well, and that's very. This was just from a charity shop. It's a very unique style isn't it mm. do look up port mary and i'll try and remember to put a link in i'll put um i'll put that down it's worth a i think in the 60s they um they did a tv show there i'm being very remiss mm. freddie is ready for his snacks <laughs> I know he's so patient. He's looking, isn't he? Oh dear! Sorry, Freddy. Do you want your snack? Did you have to share your snack time with Molly yesterday? Did she eat some of your fish? Is it nice? I'm going to have to remind me. I'm sure somebody top that snack box up. There you go. Don't rush. There you go. All gone. It's finished. <laughs> oh, dear. That's what I was saying when I wanted to stop something. It's finished. Oh, there's Angela. Good morning, Angela. Irene says, instead of apple pie, you baked apple cake. Oh, yes. Apple cake is really nice. I like anything like that. Yes. Oh, Pam. Pam's been to Port Marion. Oh, lovely. Isn't it? Isn't it? A, it's like a pretend made up -y village. Yeah, amazing. There's a hotel there. I think my sister-in-law stayed at the hotel there. Yes. So I, I've got a, it's not a blueberry muffin because I didn't have a muffin case. So I had to use a fairy cake. There's um, Aunt Bex's sister's. <laughs> website there mm. Barbara Barbara collects the pieces but doesn't use them mm. <laughs> so brick <-a> doon <laughs> oh, dear. yeah that, that that's choice it's your choice um if you want to use them or not i went to talking about using pottery julia i went to the cafe again uh, where your grandmother's pottery is used and i had my cappuccino in 1935 um royal wedding mug i can't remember what queen it was queen mary and somebody thank you julia for sharing your pottery <laughs> 
it's a personal thing isn't it you you enjoy your treasures however you want to enjoy them definitely mm. look at pickles he's making nala while making nala watch this later to show how fur babies should behave on stream oh yes you're making your nala oh right your little your little cat oh cats have a mind of their own though don't they i know i know let me just show you my it's very difficult for you to see this i need a, a dark background <laughs> last week we did the specimen cards and then afterwards hindsight is an amazing thing isn't it i thought i've got my hole punch so i made sure I made this one and then I had to put the clips on while it was sticking together. And there it is. A few, and this was, that was acetate, that one. And some, I learned that it's good to put something round the edge before you sandwich it together. But I use gilding wax and little bits of it seem to keep coming off. That's a, just a little learning curve there. And also, I put the glossy accent at the front and you can see it. Life's <laughs> one big learning curve, isn't it? <laughs> Thank you, Pickle Pickles. <laughs> and this is my card semi being made for my cat hands altered playing card challenge. I couldn't get my words out. <laughs> oh, oh, thank you. Thank you very much. So let me show you how I decon let me deconstruct it. And this was I hadn't I used just to be more accessible. This was the plastic that you get packaging in, birthday cards, or if you order something. And the I one of the prompts, I'm not going to tell you all the prompts. One of the prompts is. Let me put this behind it. Can you? Oh, gosh, no. Um, let me see. Oh, yes. I inked with the stays on ink my little hand carved shell. If you ever want to do a shell, a shell's quite an easy one. I can only do easy stamps, carved stamps. I can never work out which to leave behind and which to take away. I marvel at Mary when she's carving stamps. And the other thing I wanted to share with you, my learning curves when I was making these, because one does learn. I, you can use napkin, or I use, this is fabric that's painted, cotton. And then you put it all, you make a little hole in the middle of the fabric and then you, you can piece it around. So you've got a lovely, clear, nice fabric all the way around or napkin. And then I'm going to be gluing that together. Probably later and finishing my card. So I will leave a link on Janet's probably going. Yes, thank you. Putting a link into Kat's latest challenge there. So I'll pop that there. <laughs> <sighs> lovely, really lovely. Mm. Oh, thank you so much. Mm. Jens is going to do a stamp making video. Um, Jens has carved quite a few stamps. Thank you, Kat. It's lovely. I enjoyed the prompts immensely. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> mm. Very nice to sit and, and when I shall be putting links in my video and eating my cake later. Right, let's shall we pull some prompts? Shall we? Without further ado. <laughs> oh, I do hope I haven't missed too much. I review the chat just in case I miss. Oh, hold on. Um, I'm just tipping prompts out willy nilly here. Um, Oh, there we are. I've just thrown some on the top because I take some out. And um, 
I this, this is my way. I'm not looking. I am just. Oh, the other thing I meant to say, Kat, from we were talking about Posca pens yesterday. One of the things with Posca pens is if you do get your Posca pens in glue, touch wood. I haven't done that yet. Oh, thank you, Janethy. And then I look down sometimes. Ah. Oh, you, you're, you're enjoying doing them as well, Pam. That's fantastic. Oh, Pam, did you get to see your daughter Julie's? I put a link in the description box last week. Her video on Peter Rabbit, and she was showing your books from your collection, Pam. What you can do is you can take the nibs out. So if you mess up one end with glue, you've got the other end and you can replace the, nib, the nibs. So that's that's worth knowing if you are, well, um, if you enjoy your Posca pens. <laughs> I don't know how I know that. I must have just read it somewhere. I don't know whether you can get all the sizes. I'm not sure. <laughs> 84 at nine o'clock goodness me Eva have I said good morning to you good morning Eva so nice to see you so glad that you're you're in chat even if I haven't said hello to you mm. and this is look at Freddie look look how exhausted he is Look how cosy he is on the Aunt Bex crochet challenge blanket that's all finished now. He's testing it out and he says he approves. <laughs> Marty, I love it. I love lots of chat. Yes. Lindsay the Frugal Crafter, how to refill your Posca pens. Shock. <gasps> says Janet that's amazing oh wow I shall grab that link later one two I'm not looking honestly oh <laughs> So nice to see you, Eva. It really is. One, two, three, four. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I'm going to pick. I'm just going in. And don't think, oh, she knows what they're like, seriously. <laughs> I don't think my memory's that good. Oh, oh. That's funny. It's, it's all a flip flops, but it is a prompt. Oh, window. We've had that one more recently. I'm going to put that in my summer. Let's pick another one. We've got so many prompts. <laughs> we don't want one that I think we've just had more recently. Mm. There we are. Let's see how that is. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yes, it was a lovely challenge. It, it, you can still do the Becky challenge and you you can use the stitches we learned. I'm making a hat and I'm using some of the stitches that we learned. Becky, is this going right? Have I done this right or is it too big? Should it be curved in more? Have I gone a bit wrong? Uh, Becky will say, Jana, that's, you've gone wrong, Jana. Or is that how it's meant to look at this stage? <laughs> and Becky started another challenge with the Tunisian crochet. We're doing five inch squares and Becky tells us every Friday a new stitch, which is going to be fun. Hmm. Thanks, Dixie. <laughs> oh, I pop that there and um, Becky can answer me. The other thing. Just before we start our prompts, Flo wanted to show you her dress. <laughs> oh, you bought a Tunisian hook. 
Um, so you can have a go. You've been enjoying the Tunisian Chris, um, crochet, haven't you, Jens? Look at this gorgeous fabric that Julia gave me. It's like a velvety feel. It's really nice. And Flo wanted a new dress. So I just left the fabric there. And one, one day I came back and she'd made herself a dress. It's got a little button at the back. And your wings, oh, sorry. No, I won't fiddle now, but your wings can come out of the back there, actually, Flo. She likes to have her wings flying free. <laughs> mm. You love the colours of the crochet. Thank you so much. Isn't it super fabric? She's gone very hippie, hasn't she? <laughs> there we are. She's sitting on a tea box. That's what you do when you can't, haven't got furniture. You sit on tea boxes and roses here from lovely Molly's mum. Right. Ooh. Um, no, I'm going to say we've had that one more recently. If I think we've had them this year, we've got so many, I'm going to, I'm going to pick another one just because I can. Flo is magic, Jana. She does. I, I mean, I just gave the fabric and then I come down and yeah, there she is. Hmm. Right. That one's Christmassy. No, that was, yeah, that's ticked off. Oh, wow. This is going to be interesting. Right. Very interesting. Let's find a blank page, shall we? Now, what state is, is it Waco? Am I Waco? Um, I don't want to say it wrong. What state is that in? I need to find a blank page. I need a page that I've got white gesso on. Have I been organised enough to do that? Oh, I've got that one there, seems the blankest. Right. Right, she says. <laughs> You wish you had a fairy that did housework. Oh, seriously, Janet. I I wish I wish I had a fairy that did housework because seriously, the mess in this room, and it must all be flow, really. Oh, pom pom, good morning. Nice to meet you. Really nice to meet you. <laughs> Add neurographic art. Now I've written that down because so many people are doing the neurographic art at the moment. Let me get one of these big pens. This is just, we all have a different take on it. Shannon Green has come back to making videos and she's been doing it. Prompt one. Or you might want to make a small piece of neurographic art to sit on the page. Yes, I am thinking as I go along. <laughs> so in that, can I use black? Probably not, because I think, no, I think it's run out. Okay. And I think the old one ran out. Let me see. Oh, no, the old one works. <laughs> right. So my take on neurographic art is pop yourself comfortably. It's like we used to call it take your pencil for a walk. <laughs> and there are lots of videos on it at the moment. Mm. Thank you for sharing Pom Pom's channel. That's kind of you. Go to the edge of your page and then take your pencil your, or your pen. You can do it big or small or on a Oh, this is lovely. And this might be something that you can fill in later. So edge to edge. And now the pen's running out. Oh, let's, I've got a Sharpie that I use for parcels, so I can use that. That's gonna run out of here as well, no. Let's add another one. Lots of videos to watch on this. You did a class for neuro, neuro, neurogen, neurographic, you probably say that, art. 
and it suggested put a penny down and push the penny across the page. It did, didn't it? I haven't done that. But and is that to slow you down, maybe? Yes, I yes. I think it's mindful. And then you fill in all the harsh edges here. Some people, and then you can come in with shapes or circles or hearts. I mean, I'm sure I'm not, one isn't doing it properly how it's meant to be done. I don't know. I'm going to put, Carol's done quite a bit of this on her channel. Carol the Whispering Cauldron. And we had a phase with that. I did one on, on, so where that line joins there. I think I did a heart on fabric. And then you can come in with colours and what medium will I use? Interesting. Let's just get some water and a little paintbrush. This is going to be, this is quite, quite a mindful activity, isn't it? Mm. No, no, it's just, did I explain it okay for you, Jennifer? It's just like, I used to do, my mum used to say, take the pencil for a walk and then just colour in all the different colours. Uh, there probably are suggested ways to do it, but I'm going, I'm just saying, put your own spin on it. I'll get out my little watercolour set. This one might have been Ben's or it might have been Sam's. Oh, let's open it up. Julia's got the other one, haven't you, Julia? And let's, let's just... I'll just start it because we won't be able to do too much. Did I explain that okay? Oh no, it, it is meant to be slow. And maybe I did that too fast. Because I was on here. So I think it's meant to be very calming. And I think use crayons or could make it in collage well how lovely is that and then you could come you could come back over I'm a great believer in doing your own thing you could come back over and doodle on this as well lovely that just gives you a little bit of an idea of what I'm going to do there. I didn't have any pre-plans. This is just what I'm feeling is coming from me now. It's like a stained glass and there are many different shapes you can do. If you look up on YouTube, you can see lots of different videos on it. I just like to have prompts that if it's not your cup of tea, move on or ask me for another one or but I thought quite a lot of people uh, enjoy doing this. So it's quite nice to have different prompts for different people. I had a little phase of doing it, but I, I must admit, I, I, it didn't last the phase. There we are. So I'm going to do like the red, the red, like the sun and the blue. I'm going to have blue tints here and the, the red. Say so I'm feeling summer sunshine. And oh, I think it would be quite nice to have some waves or yes. I'm going to do my own thing. Neuro is connect. Vain educated guests, says Pom Pom. Yes, yeah. Making connections, yes, there's a whole, um, keep the lid open when you've got your paints just so they don't dry out. That's a, these paints last a long time because I think there's probably about 
maybe 10 or 12 years old, it was then. So that's from number one. And you can take as long as you like to do that. And it's it's quite good. It just, it's another, if you haven't seen it, you might think, oh, well, I'll look it up and do a little bit of research. Hmm. Yes, do it on an ATC size, definitely. I always have some little ATC size bits of card cut up. You could do it on watercolour paper, couldn't you? Yes. So that's three and a half by two and a half. Yes. You did figures of eights in all sizes and then coloured it, says Morgan. Brilliant idea. Mm. Brilliant idea. Apron. Yes, thank you, because I love this browse. Paint's finished now. Thank you. <laughs> um, I forgot I am terrible at remembering my um remembering my apron. Thank you, Pam. Thank goodness I didn't get any on me. <laughs> You've done them with Carol's done them on ETCs and decorated them with lace. Wonderful idea. Now Where's my glasses? I can't I can't see what I've written. Things get it's very busy card, black and white, and it's written in. I can't. Oh, this is for Kimberly. Scrape paint. Wonderful. I always keep a scrape paint. That one is always fun to scrape paint. And it's Kimberly's favourite. So why not? <laughs> Let's get some paint on here. Mm. What shall we have? Love blue. I love scrape paint too. Let's find something to scrape with. Here we are. That makes a super background, doesn't it? You found a new prompt. Oh, what's that prompt? Um, what is that? What's the prompt that you found, Melissa? Oh, this one's running out. Oh, it's a shame because I... Oh, Pam. I'm putting my apron on, okay? <laughs> oh, dear. There's me squeezing that paint out there. Woohoo! You use an ATC card to, to scrape. That's a good... Oh, and then you've got the paint on the actual ATC. Oh, I've only got it in brown. Oh, that is a good idea. Oh, what a good idea. Mm. Let's put some white in with this. It's Kimberly's jumping up and down now. It's scrape paint, Kimberly. <laughs> what colours shall we have? I'm going to have to put all people. Oh, blue, favourite colour for bear. Purple. I don't know whose favourite colour is purple. I can't put all the colours in, obviously, otherwise I'm going to get a brown mess. <laughs> oh, oh, Carol, la, 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 la. <laughs> is that what you're singing? I'm loving this. Marty and Barbara are in the house. Oh, this is lovely. Oh, spread paint. Do you know, doing the prompts is just a way we can be together. So lovely. Oh, I love that. I love that. Got some left. So let me. So I'm going to pop that up there to dry. Do some more of that. That's going to be relaxing to do later, actually. Right. Scrape paint. Let's get some this tissue paper. I'm going to move my cupcake, otherwise, I'm just going to get my blueberries. Oh, pretty colour with the blue and the purple go beautifully together. Well, Beth, um, he's editing and he's got five more weeks to edit. And then when he edit, when it's done, he may be, just may be going back to Uganda. Um, to scrape.
screen what he's done. <laughs> it's that's amazing. So we might be going back to Uganda and why not? And then they're planning later on in the year to go and film the, the orangutan. So yeah, I know. <sighs> I'm, I don't know why I'm doing that, just because it's relaxing. I don't know whether you, it might make the tissue paper collapse, but that just felt so relaxing. Ooh, lovely. That's a super way to dry your paint. <laughs> I love it. Lots of lovely backgrounds there. You can do some lovely ink stamping on there. Pop those on envelopes. Lovely. Let's have another prompt. I like that idea if you've got an ATC in white. Use that it's a paint scraper. Fantastic idea. So it's all ready. Hmm. Great idea. Right. Use something. You haven't yet used. And I've got Barbo in here. I, I've been listening to Barbo and I listen to Barbo and on the replay because I can't watch live because that's Friday evening here when the boys are here. I, I don't I have no recollection of what she was doing. Use something you haven't used yet. Hmm. I don't know why I wrote that. Have I got something here that I haven't used yet? Oh, well, I am lucky enough to have my summer flow with happy mail from Alison and Alicia. And that I can, I haven't used any of this happy mail before. So yeah. Tim Holtz has a gorgeous new colour. Oh, what colour? What colour is it? Um, what's the new colour? I, I suppose I don't follow Tim Holtz too much because... Um, oh, how lovely. How lovely. Some lovely things. Oh, I love that. That is so lovely. I love that. Little la a lady with an owl hat, a hat and an owl. How lovely. I'm just scooting through here. Oh, Alison made me a feather. Gosh, that's gorgeous. Use something you haven't used before. Upcycle. Yes. Anything, yes, if you haven't used it, it could be anything. It means use anything. I think I was thinking more of you buy something and you haven't used it yet. Um, have I got something new that I haven't used yet? I'm going to say, or oh, got at the thrift store. I've got some fabric, but of course I've got this lovely happy mail and I haven't used any of this yet. So... Oh, how lovely. Oh, look at these gorgeous flowers. How lovely. Oh, this is from Alison, AJ's Inspired Life. I love this. The world is round so that friendship may encircle it. Ah, oh, thank you, Alison. Alison won't be here or even listening to the replay because she's very busy she's got family with her so thank you Alison I will message Alison and thank her let's pop that there and put my summer flow for everything summery away and I will make a little pocket for that or put it on the world is round so that friendship may encircle it that's lovely isn't that gorgeous? Let me, I can't read who that saying is by. Let me just put my glasses on. You think it's dark teal? Um, he calls it dark turquoise. Oh, you must love that. Oh, called uncharted water. Oh, how wonderful. You'll love that. Mm. 
You're all about upcycling. Definitely, yes. Mm. We can reach across the pond. Absolutely, Eva. Absolutely. Pierre Teilhard de Jardin. Mm. That's who it's by. Um, not that it's in a very good French accent. If Sylvia's here, we'll ask Sylvia. Sylvia's working today, so can't be with us. But she might be on the replay and she'll correct me. That is gorgeous. Lovely colour, green and purple. Love that. Right. A vintage, oh, prompt three is a vintage machine. Oh, wow. Thinking about some of the stamps you may have with vintage cameras and things like that. Ooh. Mm. Let's look what I've got. How interesting. Oh, we're reaching across the front uh, pond though, Cheryl. I feel it. I, I feel the... Um, the friendship, I really do. Like, yes, like an old, or use an old typewriter if you've got one, or use an old machine to make something, yes. Mm. Oh, and you can get them in old magazines. Anne, on her live on Saturday, was showing a catalogue from the 1980s, and that had some vintage if the 80s is vintage are we vintage i don't know <laughs> an old sewing machine marion oh yes yes i love this book it's all 40 to bits though um pictorial marvels and wonders of nature i don't know whether this has got any machines in it i i just felt i wanted to look in here i think it did because it had some Hot air balloons in, I seem to remember. I don't know. I want to get it. I thought once all this is gone, look at the yummy paper. It will make a lovely journal eventually. It's very fally to bits. I thought some, it does have machines. Well, I'm going to put my. This is really good. If you're doing a steampunk journal, I can send you some bits of this. Oh, it's all very old-fashioned, naturey machines. Mm. Thanks, Becky. I know, Morgan. 80s is vintage. Well, no. Ha, oh, breathe. I um I thought vintage was 20 years old, but um and with a little quick research on Google, Anne decided that 40. Um, was vintage 40 years ago so oh lovely some lovely pictures is anybody doing a steampunk journal because some of these machines in here let me know if you are someone is doing a steampunk journal oh wow a magic lantern thomason's lantern let's have that shall we And these are oh, every single little bit of this paper will be used, even the edging, because the edging is just naturally aged. I don't know whether it's got a date on it, this book. It's just at a it was just going to be thrown out at the end of a car week sale. Haven't got a date on it. Oh, the northern lights. Did anybody say they were doing um paint girly is making a steampunk? Right. Yes. Oh, can you remind me later, just in case I forget? You're doing a steampunk journal right now. I think it was no, I'm gonna write it down. Um, I think it was you that did you say it the other day in one of the streams? So Kathy. Kathy C, yes. And I've forgotten already. Oh, Laurie Paint Girling. 
yeah, lovely. I'll find some machines to go with them. Oh, and it's it's that paper and it's sort of quite almost buttery. I don't know how this fits in to our page, but we we will be able to make a story of this. It's all about how friendship um how friendship yeah the world the world is round so that friendship may encircle it and this is a magic lantern thomason's lantern and i think probably we like lanterns for one another to light the way that's what i'm going to say <laughs> I'm going to put that there. Not quite sure what's going to happen. And I'll put that magic lantern there. Might have some other bits, but these bits will be precious. Bit of collage for a bit of collage. In cars, you know that 20 year old is a classic and a 45 year old is an antique. Oh, in, in this sort of thing, Antique is a hundred years old. So we're, we're not antique, Morgan. <laughs> That's all I can say. Oh dear. <laughs> hmm. There we are. Right, lovely. I'm loving that. I'm not gluing any of it down yet. I'm just going to see what happens. I'm going with the flow. Right. No. I think this is one that I put in, but I mixed it up. Print on tissue paper. <laughs> it was meant to be, it was meant to be. If you haven't got any tissue paper, you can use, um, you can use jelly, jelly paper, jelly paper, deli paper, or grease proof paper. Let me just show you. If you weren't here earlier, I use black paint and use the end to make these dots. And then I'm just going to get the white pen and do some nice bit of gentle doodling. Back of a napkin. Thank you, Becky. Absolutely. Thank you. Mm. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Absolutely, absolutely. The light of friendship. That's lovely. I wonder if Bob has gone out for her walk because we're singing away here. There we are. Let me just show you how it knocks back here the um I'm going to tear this out just done a little bit of doodling on those you can doodle more what was it print on tissue paper so printing that could mean stamping really Oh, you had a 68 Nova. Now, I don't know what that is because it's an American car. But if you're talking about British classic cars, I, I, my dad used to have a blue Ford Anglia. And he also had a Mini, too. <laughs> Some of me refresh or um, you refresh. <laughs> Do you mean that? We, there is a lab. There is a oh, oopsie. And you can just put these to you. They just blend into the background. There we are. Lovely. There. That just gives you an idea now of what they look like. I'd only just put that prompt in. I have a little sit up in bed with a cup of tea. And we think of some new prompts. <laughs> Normally, it's from um, people that have inspired me throughout the week. Well, sit, sit yourself up there, Flo. There we are. They look quite effective. 
Oh, just drag racing. Oh, wow. We have drag racing here. We did take the boys once to see it. Right, let's put those there and those there. Lovely. Loving that. Oh, no, I'll do it at the end because I forgot. Let's carry on with the prompts, but remember that I need to do the giveaway for the people that are in in replaying and for the people that make comments so that people feel included not everybody can make the live right is it is this the last prompt because this is the card print on digit i can't believe it just that oh i don't want it to be over yet <laughs> oh right Ah, okay. This one is add a sloth. And this one's for Nettie. Because Nettie, that I add things in for people because sloths are her favourite. <laughs> and I'm I'm sorry, I am one step ahead if I can find it. If I can find it. Oh, I'm frozen. Sorry, I must have, my internet must have cut out. I'm sloth, the next one. Thank you. And this one's for lovely Nettie. I'm one step ahead because I had to say to Julia, I haven't got any sloths. Can you print me some off before I put them? Um, so I'm cheating a bit, but I have to find them. Where did I put them, Julia? Here they are. Does this page come together? Well, it's interesting. It's an interesting page. It's a little bit like us. We're all different, but we're coming together in friendship. <laughs> oh. Oh, this is lovely. Thank you, Julia, for printing these off. And these will be fun to cut out in Happy Mail. They really will be. Really will be. And then I noticed I actually had some. If I, yes. I actually had some sloth washi tape. I must send some to um, Nettie. Oh, dear. Right, I... I need to start sticking some of this down now. I need to commit. <laughs> I'm going to put a sloth pocket here. How nice. I like this one. I like it all. Thank you. I'm going to put a little pocket. Because this isn't serious art. This is having fun together. <laughs> Oh, it's amazing, isn't it? Sloth washi tape. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, I think I got it when I got my llama washi tape. I think the llama washi tape's nearly all gone now. I tend to just put one little piece on, um, one little llama on, because it, it, it runs out. There we are. Like a sloth pocket. <laughs> I have put a duck prompt in, yes, because our Barbara, our Canadian Barbara likes ducks, so there is a duck prompt in <laughs> for our Barbara. <laughs> oh dear, and now we've got two Barbaras. We've got a UK Barbara as well. It's lovely, absolutely lovely. There's my sloth pocket. <laughs> They are funny looking, aren't they, Cheryl? They are. I don't know much about them, really. I don't even know what country they come from. Oh, we've got a neurographic art to add to this. This is quite something, this page. I think it's quite a good... Um, for me, a good journaling page. I'm going to be able to write a lot on it. Some of the things that are said in chat, I can write. 
sometimes it just doesn't want to work. Well, it doesn't want to work, so let's just, I'll do it the old school way. Before I got that, I just used to brown something. There you go, like that. Oh, they used to fall asleep. Oh, how sweet, Julia. Mm. Oh, in Costa Rica. Thank you, Andy. Mm. A Central American. Gosh, yeah. Not something I learned about much at school. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, your niece is from there. Hmm. Do you hear birds outside, um, out from here? Yes, I've got the door open, Marty. It's such a lovely day. Can you see the doors open there? <laughs> Fred's got his ear. Nothing's disturbed in the gardens today. I'm going to just put, I'm just going to put a sloth pocket there just because I can. <laughs> right, glue. <laughs> Oh, Janet B thinks they come from Australia. They might do. Some of our Australian listeners, if they haven't gone to sleep yet, may be able to say, or maybe able to tell us in comments. Yeah. Got my slot pocket. I'm loving that. And that's going to have my little neurographic art, something to come back to later. And my little saying. And I'm going to put my machine in the background. I'm loving that. Oh, I'll tell you what. I'm just going to tape it on. Why not? <laughs> I know, Becky. <laughs> and a sloth. I know. But it's not my fault. That's Nettie's fault for liking sloth. <laughs> no, no, don't blame me. <laughs> oh dear. There you go. I'm just taping it on. Yeah, the birds are gorgeous. The title of the stream today is Enjoy the Little Things. And Marty, thank you for this is bringing it all together now. Um, thank you for pointing out the bird song, stopping and listening. So important. Joe. No sloths come from Australia, says Joe. She wish they did. Mm. <laughs> the birds add a certain dimension. It's lovely that it's not often I can have the window open though, pom pom, or, or the door. Yeah, there's the doors open. Mm. <laughs> You're eating a, an avocado, Anne. How lovely. Mm, very healthy. Let's pop numbers in. Pop numbers in because it's that time. It is that time to pop numbers in. So let's see. What have I got here? What have I been making this week for numbers? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Oh, there's Ali. Good morning, Ali Kay. Nice to see you. Yes, that's it. Pop it in. Pop, pum. <laughs> oh, Janet USA heard the birds too. Thank you for stopping and listening, taking a breath. Mm. Oh, um, yes. Pickles, yeah, don't. The it's just a way for us to be together, and, and yeah, if you don't like a prompt, don't do it. If you want to change it, change it. Do your own thing, chicken wing, as lo our lovely Laurel would say. Mm. Um, Cheryl is AMC, was that the, per the company that made cottons? Threads. Oh, Jens is remembering Teresa, and 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 Marty is remembering our lovely musical Barbara, who's must have gone for a walk. Oh, well done. Thank you. Pop numbers in for yourself, 
for other people that are in the stream and not in the stream. Anybody, everybody, yes. Because the world is round so that friendship may encircle it. And ah, happy mail is a lovely thing to do that, isn't it? <laughs> hmm. Yes, pickles. I mean, sometimes pages are a hot mess, but it just reminds you of the day. And other times, you know, you think, oh, I'm a little bit more pleased with it. But yeah. Hmm. Aunt Bex put one in for her mum, Mary. That's lovely. Yes. Mm. <laughs> yeah, add your own little sprinkle, your own little something, something, definitely. You be you. Yes, definitely. Mm. And, and Marty is all about the process. When I look at these, I just remember the amazing time we have together. Oh, I love it. Mm. Oh, your mum loves getting happy mail. Maybe it's time if we if you ask me um or Aunt Bex in it on Messenger, um she will give you her mum's address. It, it maybe in your group, Becky. It might be time to do another little mail shot for Becky's mum. Let me write that down. A postcard or something, yes. Becky's mum. Mm. There we are. Jen is asking for the address again. Oh, for Clint, that's lovely. And Erin, thank you, Jennifer. Yes, so there's Marilyn. And you put a number in, yeah, getting it, getting it all sorted. Yes, yeah. <laughs> oh, and you've got one in for Gail. Well, you've got two, Gail. That's it. <laughs> You're being thought of. <laughs> that's lovely. And that's that's an end to it. Yeah. <laughs> it's still in the group at the top. Fantastic. Oh. Mm. oh, Barbara, you're the gardener arrived to cut the grass. Do you know, Barbara, that's when life gets in the way, isn't it? <laughs> right. Where am I? Yeah, random number generator. Thank you. This is Freddie, yes. <laughs> and he's had a very lively morning, hence he's, you know, he's happy to relax now. Mm. Freddie definitely is relaxed. I like the way he's got, because quite often you say, give him a cushion, give him a cushion. But, um, oh, hi, Carol. Yep, yeah, Carol's back. Um, <laughs> Oh, it looks like you're Jaden. Oh, how wonderful. Right, random number. I I am sorry if I've missed anything in chat or I've I've sometimes literally I have a some form of mental block and I miss people out despite the fact that they're in the chat multiple times absolutely ridiculous i'm generating a number are we are we ready mm. you moved her address back to the top of the announcements in your group yes a mail another mail shot um prompt number 49 prompt number 49 oh that's nice morgan it's got neat it's it's the number on 49 or under the nearest under that's how we do it <laughs> i've generated a number between one and a hundred um marty has number 49 on the dot so i'm going to send a little bit of happy mail to marty how lovely marty that's really nice oh and while i've got that there i want to generate a number for the people that write in comments because some of the people that write in comments aren't not all of them but aren't able to get to the live where we do this so it's just a nice way for me to be able to send them happy mail so this is for the last two weeks these numbers because i did one for the star video so 
this is generated 1 to 35, and it's thir number 34, and that is Janet USA. So I'm going to send Janet USA. I'm going to write that down. Some happy mail. Pick Janet's number out. Lovely. <laughs> there we are. Good, 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 good. So oh, let's generate another one from that list as well. Why not? Because it's not easy when you can't be here. And if you are a gentle listener and you don't even not prescribe, prescribed? What's the word? Subscribed? Or you don't want to write in comments, try and contact me some other way. I'm always happy to send out happy mail, but not everybody wants to enter into social media like that. Uh, between 1 and 35, generate another number. Number 27 just because we can, is Kathy C. So let's send some happy mail to Kathy C. Now, tune in tomorrow to Beth because she's on, she's on, Kathy will be on stream with Beth at seven o'clock Eastern Standard Time. What have I got? What have I been making? I made, and these are to send in the happy mail. I made a little ATC because I found this little picture. And I just came to sit at the desk and I found myself using all the scraps of paper and making a little ATC. What's the word on that? It says dream. And this is a fabric postcard that's going to go in the post to somebody. Um, there. And I, oh, no, that one's for somebody already. And then I've done this one is a paper made out of paper and it says rest and restore. And that's a friendship circle postcard made out of. Just scrapbook paper and papers. <laughs> Jack, to send some happy mail to Morgan to welcome her to her to our group. Morgan, are you on any of the Facebook groups or Instagram? Where can we find you? Or oh, some people, yeah, you might not want to be found. Mm. Oh, yes, and Trudy. Yes, I will. Sometimes sending um, a little postcard is such a nice, easy thing to do. I will, yes. Mm. <laughs> yes, let me um, reach out and, and get in touch with me, Morgan. <laughs> It's lovely, lovely that you feel part of it. And to the, I'm going to say goodbye to the replayers as well. Thank you for joining us. And I'm so glad that you feel that you're part of this. And I will be chatting with um, you in comments and on in the week and emails. And, and then some people I catch in lives and we have chats then. <laughs> It's mostly flow, mostly flow. <laughs> She's got paint on her sock now. <laughs> ah, that's lovely. Morgan, uh, you, I don't know how to get hold of you, but I'm, I'm sure I've written your name down and I'm sure you'll be able to find a way to contact me. <laughs> Shall I put my email in? Could it? Quickly. Hmm. You have a YouTube channel. Oh, there it is. Yes. Okay. I will. I can reach out to you there. Yeah. Thank you. I can look back in my chat and find that link. Thank you. Hmm. Thank you. You're going to message me. Super. Right. Bye, replays. And bye, gentle listeners. And goodbye to people that are in the chat now. And some people were in earlier. 
thank you. It's been so lovely. Eve was so lovely to see you. Morgan, welcome. Rebecca, I do are you streaming after this, Rebecca? Janice, have a good day. I take it you're not at work. You must have answered me about it being a um, a national holiday for you. Do you call that vacation or holiday? I'm not sure. <laughs> oh, Marilyn. Lovely to see you. Gratitude. That's a lovely word. Scribbling that down. Gratitude. I was going to say, oh, look, I've got some homework for what I was going to make next week, but it's time to say goodbye. Yes. Mm. So, um, healing vibes. Yeah. You're streaming at about 11.30. How, when is that? In an hour's time or? 11.30 Eastern time. Mm, that's a pleasure, Jennifer. Oh, and Freddie, yes, yeah. Kathy, good luck tomorrow. Enjoy streaming. Karen, so glad you could join us. And Pickles too. And Pam, I put my apron on, Pam. I hope you were proud of me. Oh, <laughs> lovely. And you are you going to be doing starting the um Tunisian crochet, Pam? Mm. Oh, Kat, so nice to see you. You've been creating your page with you today for the first time. You've, you're doing it at the same time. Kat, that's lovely. Yes, yeah. You had fun. Yes. Do it at the same time. Do the, mix them up, whatever. What, do whatever helps you relax and have fun. Yes, yeah. In about half an hour, we will be going over to, to um, Rebecca's channel. We can take the bus. That's good timing for me because it just allows me time to put links in my description box and then I'll meet you, I'll meet you over at Rebecca's. I'll be making a shepherd's pie. <laughs> Margaret, so lovely to see you. It has been a lovely time together. Oh, uh, yes. All these creative friends, Margaret. Oh, it's been lovely. Half and half. She's on central. She's on central time. Oh, okay. 11.30. Oh, 11.30 central. So that's 12.30 Eastern, isn't it? Oh, but you said in half an hour's time. You made it easy for me. <laughs> oh, Aunt Bex. Thank you for everything. I'm looking forward to watching how we're going to what we're going to make with this fabric um we're going to be i don't know aunt bex is probably designing something now i'm just checking my i always check my facebook just my messages just in case someone's saying janet something's going wrong with them thank you becky so we will be mm. you Morgan's still working on her tea, drying her tea dyed papers. Mm. Yes, can we all be on the same time, please? Why is the world so big? <laughs> Your country's so big with three or four time zones. Yeah. Mm. Sloth, I know. Sloth, I, I know. Choose another one if not, but... Um, one thing that I learned from Laura Jersey, and this is what I do, she she Googled simple images and maybe you could draw a sloth with your white pen. Simple images, because they are in some ways quite simple. Maybe I should have tried to draw one. <laughs> oh, our big world, it is amazing there. Mm. Because the world is round and not flat, so we're all joined together. I love that. Mm. Cheryl's going to draw a sloth. Yes, go on Google Images, simple drawing, Cheryl. <laughs> Jens. Mm. Did, did we link Jennifer's channel? It will be linked down below um, in about half an hour, three quarters of an hour, if to give me you know a little chance to do that yeah mm. oh some lovely talented um, journaling from um 
from Jennifer. It's wonderful. Mm. Pickles, just saying, Pickles has sloth stickers. There you go. <laughs> Sorted. <laughs> Don't blame me, blame Nettie. <laughs> oh, dear. Hmm. A disc world, a flat fantasy world. That, I do think I remember the boys. Is that, were those a set of novels? I think I remember the boys reading those. Yeah. A best put a link in. Oh, that's Jen's link. Thank you, Beth. Thank you. Mm. You're going live while you trace out a pattern in just a few minutes. Oh, right. Oh, wow. Okay. So we can nip over to um, Becky's, Aunt Bex, while she's tracing out a pattern. She's going to teach us how to make patterns. A learning curve, another learning curve for Janet. Mm -hmm. It's for a top knot the, the, for the bag, for a bag. Hmm, interesting. Oh, Melissa's coming with a number. Bless you, Melissa. Let me write that down. I'm collecting horses for you, Melissa. I, when I've got enough in the envelope, I will be sending you happy mail. <laughs> Collect horses for um, Melissa. Hmm. Your summer schedule is different. Well, I better put the phone down, put the phone down. Goodbye from Freddie. A sleepy Colin who isn't even, even cuckooing from, from Flo and Mo and pa Penny Angelica in the roses. No, thank you, Janet. <laughs> right, I better put the phone down. <laughs> Freddy is sleepy, isn't he? Goodbye, all, says Janice. Just put the phone down, says Janice. <laughs> Bye everyone, take care. Have a really good week and don't forget to enjoy the little things. <laughs> no, you hang up first. <laughs> Bye, let's go over and see what Becky's up to. Hmm.